All of these facts angered and frustrated the Prime Minister. He became visibly upset. He ran out the back door. He has not been back since. And that we do not mention presence or absence in the House. The question is, is the Prime Minister okay and will he ever be back in the House of Commons to debate me? We will take one question out of the next round of uh, Conservative questions. Today during question period, the member from Pickering Oxbridge said, and I quote, I'm very concerned about the health of your baby. Quite frankly, I'm proud to be here 32 weeks yeah. pregnant, fighting for my constituents. Yeah. The member opposite would outright lie. And yes, I am saying outright lie. We do not use that language. Um, I'm so, I, I am sorry, I didn't hear what was said. This is absolutely shameful, the comments that were just made by the member from Pickering Oxbridge, yet again. It must be dealt with. Our member said it once and was removed from this house. Yeah. Like I care about your opinion of me. We will continue the debate and we will come back to the Honourable Member. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, justice does not only have to be done. It has to be seen to be done in order to uphold the dignity of this House. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Three years since Jay Killer went on a rampage in Nova Scotia. We now know of the incredible incompetence at the top of the RCMP that has raged on ever since the Prime Minister took office. He named an incompetent commissioner and he's tried to destroy our national police force with deadly consequences. Worse yet, his commission ignored the victims and he's done nothing to reverse, re to reverse the original cause of the violence in the first place. Will the Prime Minister reverse the damage he's done so that Canadians can live in safety and peace? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And although the work of the Commission has concluded, we know that the grief and loss of the families and communities will remain forever. Yesterday, we received the, the report from the Commission. It's a roadmap to pursue necessary changes, whether within the RCMP, whether with regard to semi-automatic firearms or gender-based violence. We will work closely with, with all involved to uh, pursue these reforms because that's what Canadians expect and deserve, Madam Speaker. Um, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Yeah. On Tuesday, I said that there was a crisis with stabbings across the country. People being stabbed in broad daylight. The Prime Minister stood up and said, don't worry, he's going to ban hunting rifles. Right. Even though that it's knives that do stabbing and not hunting rifles. It's not the Inuit hunter in Nunavut who's causing stabbings in downtown Vancouver. All of these facts angered and frustrated the Prime Minister. He became visibly upset and ran out the back door. He has not been back since. The Prime Minister was obviously frightened and concerned by that debate. Honourable Leader of the Opposition knows uh, the rules and that we do not mention presence or absence in the House. The question is, is the Prime Minister okay and will he ever be back in the House of Commons to debate me? I, I, I have asked the Honourable Member to be wary of the rules and uh, the Honourable Member repeated the, uh, the uh, comments uh, that he knows are against the rules. Uh, we will take one question out of the next round of uh, Conservative questions. The Honourable Member for my, uh, Honourable Defeat Manikwaga. Madam Speaker, as uh, the, the Honourable Member for Dauphin Swan River, Nipawa. Point of order. I, I, I did uh, advise the members that I was going to take the next question out of the of the uh, of the members, and I'm taking it out because the next question would be then. One moment.
As the members know, it is the prerogative of the chair to determine who the next speaker is, and, and my prerogative is to choose the honourable member for da Dauphin, Swan River, Nipawa. Murray called Dake on a point of order. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Today, during question period, the member from Pickering Oxbridge said, and I quote, I'm very concerned about the health of your baby to myself uh, during question period. An absolutely inappropriate and unparliamentary term. And I'm quite frankly, I'm proud to be here 32 weeks yeah. pregnant, fighting for my constituents. Yeah. Pickering Oxbridge is rising on the same point of order. Speaker, I am absolutely disgusted that the member opposite would outright lie. And yes, I am saying outright lie. I absolutely said that. We do not use that language. We do not use that language in the House, as the Honourable Member well knows. Uh, same thing can be said in different ways. Uh, the Honourable Member uh, on her point of order. What the, occurred, the exchange that happened was the member opposite said to me, you know, you don't have to be so mean all the time. And I responded, I said, like I care about your opinion of me. And Madam Speaker, for the member to actually use such a disgusting lie to try to defame me. Honourable member, the Honourable member will be invited to uh, rethink, uh, rethink her choice of words, please. The Honourable Member, the Honourable Member will be invited to uh, to uh, exercise judgment in the use of words, and uh, please consider that uh, that is not a parliamentary acceptable word. Um, and I would invite her to uh, apologise and, and retract that uh, that word uh, from the from the record. The Honourable Member for Pickering Oxbridge. Madam Speaker, I'll withdraw the word, but the sentiment remains that that absolutely did not. Withdraw the words. That's uh, uh, Order, order. This. This will be looked at in the Hansard uh, to answer the Honourable Member for uh, Fort mcmurray Coltick, and we will get back to the Honourable Member on what happened. Point of order, Madam Speaker. Oh, oui, non, honorable député de Megan Seclair. The Honourable Member for Megan Seclair. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, during question period, you made a decision to withdraw a question from the official opposition. Without calling into question your decision, Madam Speaker, it's the application of the decision that I'd like to obtain clarification from, from the table. In your hands, you have a list that helps guide your decisions. You're announcing the MPs who will speak. I don't think there's any rule in the House where it says that you can decide to withdraw a particular question based on a list provided to you, because it's a list that is an indication to help the the work of the House. So I'd like the table to specify exactly how to proceed if ever a similar situation happens again. I think we need to know because it created, as you've noticed, Madam Speaker, it created some discomfort among the opposition members. We want to satisfy the rules, follow them, but we need to have specifications on how these decisions will be applied in the future. Thank you. Fort Lake, Cold Lake, on a point of order. I think this is absolutely shameful. The comments that were just made by the member from Pickering Oxbridge yet again denigrate women and 
We need to be supporting women in politics, yes. not doing things like that. I asked for an apology. She has called me a liar in this chamber four times now today. This is absolutely inappropriate, and I demand an apology. Yes. for Fort, Lake, uh, Cold Lake, uh, Fort McMurray Cold Lake, uh, we will listen. I didn't hear right now. I was discussing. I, 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 I don't dispute it. I'm just saying that I, we will look in the Hansard and we will get back to the honorable member on what is found. I, I cannot rule on this right now. I have to wait until we look at what uh, the Hansard and the, and the, the tapes will tell us. Uh, the Honourable Member for Holyman Northfolk first, and then the Honourable Member Thank for... Thank you very much, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak. Just, just so that that is... I'm just looking for the mic. She said it backwards. She said Holyman Northfolk. Oh, oh, Hold Holyman Northfolk, yes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, justice does not only have to be done, it has to be seen to be done in order to uphold the dignity of this House. That's right. Madam Speaker, when a member four times says something so patently offensive as calling another honourable member a liar, it must be dealt with. Our member said it once and was removed from this House. Yeah. Justice has to be seen to be done in this House, Madam Speaker. Member for Elgin, Middlesex, London, on her point of order. And I was just, I was actually just uh, the words from my the member from Holtham and Norfolk. She she said it very well, and I do I really appreciate that. I just want to second that. Thank you. Great job. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Government House Leader. Uh, Madam Speaker, I think that uh, prior to the interaction that had taken place, uh, you were making a ruling on another point of order. I think it's best that you conclude that point of order. I know that there's one or two members that might want to address the second point of order that's raised, but maybe if we can put to rest the first point of order, and then we'll go on to the second. Oui, uh, effectivement, je vais. Yes, I will continue with the point of order raised by the member for Megan Seclerable on the on question period. The lists provided by parties are an indication, but they don't oblige the speaker to follow them. It's true that it's an indication. I conferred with the table when I decided to withdraw the question, and there was an exchange with the people who work with the op official opposition whip to arrive at an agreement. But it's really at the discretion of the speaker how to withdraw or not a question in the order of questions. The Honourable Member. I understand, Madam Speaker, but what I really wanted to know is we had a member who rose to be recognized and we had no other member and you recognize the next one on the list. That's why I think it's important to have the specification. Because the member we had chosen to ask the question had, in my opinion, the right to do so because he was the only member who rose at that time to ask the question. The list is an indication. So you couldn't ask the next person to rise instead of the one who was there because, in theory, the list doesn't exist in the rules. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The member is entirely correct. It's true that there's no list in principle. It's a convention between the parties. So that's why 
we're resolving that with the WHIPS office. Thank you very much. On the other point of order, the Honorable Parliamentary Secretary to, uh, sorry, the Honorable <laughs> Member for Longueuil Charlemagne, it's easier for me. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And um, I just wanted to clarify on the original point of order, I was literally sitting in front of the, of the member um, and heard the exchange. And I can attest that what the member from Ajax Pickering, uh, from Pickering said was not what was um, said by the member opposite. So I can attest the member in no way ever referenced. But I understand. OK. Well, well. But we're not. We're not going to debate what uh, what is the, the initial point of order was, which was about what was happened during uh, the questions, but more on the use of the word liar uh, or lies uh, afterwards, which is really and truly the unparliamentary part of the uh, of the issue, uh, because on the for, on the exchange that happened during question period, uh, I, I don't know, I didn't hear it. We'll have to go back to both the, the tapings and the, the hand serp. So uh, that we had, no, no, I'm talking about the initial comments. Uh, I'm not talking about the word lies. Everybody heard those. We all, we all heard those. Uh, and those are certainly uh, not parliamentary language. Uh, the Honourable Member for Pontiac, on the same point of order? Yes, on this point of order, I was there myself too, like my colleague, and I heard the words, I'm the mom of twins, I was pregnant too, I don't understand how that could be used for political ends, that's disappointing. We're not debating the matter at the origin of the point of order, we're debating what followed, and that's what we'll have to resolve. I'll get back to you in a few seconds. We will continue the debate and we will come back to the Honourable Member with uh, a resolution. Thank you. I have more. <laughs>